War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus Eldari Aspect Warriors painting tutorial and today we are painting the Swooping Hawks. Here they are. They are yet another classic fine cast miniature from Games Workshop so you know. <laughs> Yay fine cast. And well we're going to jump in and we're going to start painting them. They've been primed in grey here and the colour we're going to be using is Frost Heart. Now we're going to be focusing on this Exarch and this Swooping Hawk. Um, if there's any individual details, of which there are on the Exarch, such as the feather, for example, feathers, I should say, uh, we will pick them out. But otherwise, you can get through the entire set just painting, well, focusing on just, well, these two. Probably even just this one, but we're going to do two, because that's what we do around here. Now, the colour we're going to be using first is Frost Heart. I'm going to be using this all over our Swooping Hawk's armour. And we're going to be using this to do the pattern on the wings. Now, Frost Heart's a really lovely paint, and you don't have to have loads of it on your brush to get the desired effect. You just want to go in there for small amounts, little and often. You want to take it, as per usual, a section at a time, just like this. Give it a little bit more there on my brush. Still in the frost heart stages here, I thought I'd demonstrate how to figure out how to paint the wings. So what we do is we still, as mentioned, keep going with the frost heart. And what we do is we pick out on the outer edge, we miss the first one, and then we pick out that wing, well, feather, there like that. And we then just skip out one all the way along to the bottom. Just like that. What you should then see is a gap at the top and a gap at the bottom. But if you don't, that's okay. Just make sure you go white, blue, white, blue. Whereas on the inside track, what you want to do is you want to pick out the one closest to the frame of the wing. Like that, so you're not missing one off here. And then you are once again alternating between white and blue. So with that done, you should have some swooping hawks that look somewhat like this, They're looking pretty cool. So what we're gonna do now is gonna move on to the next color, and that is going to be Black Legion. Now, there's not a ton of black details on these, Mostly it's just the gun and any leather details that they might have. So occasionally there's a couple of little pouches. For example, the Exarch has some just here, like that. Otherwise, we're just gonna get this Black Legion all over these details. Just like this. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Dark Angels Green and we're going to use this to paint in their face masks and a couple of extra details on the Exarch. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a tiny amount of that Dark Angels Green on our brush, which can be very careful here. I'm going to apply this over the top of the face mask. Like this.
we're going to apply this over the top of the kind of the structural elements of the wings. I'm just going to get a little bit more Dark Angels green there. Start applying this. Like this. And additionally, what we're going to do is going to take some of this Dark Angels green. I'm going to use this to add some green onto our feathers. So on the ones on the arm just here, and apply this just like this towards the tips of the feathers. Like that. I want to do that on both sides. Like so. And additionally, there's one thing I forgot to do in the headdress. I do want to colour in this panel with the Dark Angels green. section and we also want to add a little kind of diamond pattern in our headdress or rather the feather on the headdress we'll leave a little gap then just add a little stripe on the other side So with that done, you should have some swooping hawks that look like this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to the white. And the color we're going to be using for this is Soul Blight Gray. And what we're going to do, let's demonstrate it on here just for the moment, is we're going to take that Soul Blight Gray on our brush and we're just going to start layering this all over the top. Of the helmet. Like that. We're also going to do this over the top of the white feathers. Like this sort of thing. And on an X arc, it's exactly the same deal, only this time. We're also going to be applying this over the top of the cloth. bird feathers just like this so with that done what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thin down lead belcher and we're going to use this to paint in most of our remaining details we're effectively going to leave any remaining gems and any remaining trinkets for example the x arc has now yeah, i don't know if that would be a different color so what we are doing is we're going to cover in this little power pack or flight controller or whatever it is that they all have this we've got all of the cables in 
things. There's usually one on the gun, and a couple on the helmet back here, for example. And we're also going to paint in some of the detailing on the weapon. So we've got this kind of coil here that get colors, gets coloured in. Like so. As well as these little nodules on the Exarch gun. We're going to do all of them. Whereas on our regular guys, we're pretty much just going to only do the ones around here, we're not going to do the ones on the tip of the weapon. So with that silver applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Retributor armor. We're going to use this to paint in all of our gems. So on our Exarch we have this one here on the chest, and they all have one of these. And he also has one on his left wrist, he has one on the top of his gun, he has the trinkets, and he has one on his helmet as well, up here, going to do is going to colour in the four little sort of nodule things on each of their wings. So our normal swooping hawks also have this. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to add a shade to the model. The colour we're going to make is a roughly two to one mix of contrast medium and black templar. I'm going to be using this over the top of all the silver details. This is because we want, again, we just want this really kind of very clear distinction between within, well, within all of our recesses. We could use null oil here, but going to give you as hard a definition as you can see there. Just like that. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Blood Angels Red I'm going to apply this over the top of our gold gems. So we just want to take a small amount of this on our brush and we want to start painting it over the top just like this. There's no need to shade them because our Retributor Armour will provide the frame on the large gem or rather the casing. And there's no need to shade these ones back here. And I just take more time. <laughs> so that then our swooping hawks are now what I would call a war hipster battle ready and they're already looking pretty good. However, we are gonna take them to the next level. We're gonna do that by adding some relays and some highlights. Now, the first one we're gonna do is Corax White. And we're gonna be using this over Funnily enough, all of the white details. What we want to do is we just want to take a small amount of this on our brush and we just want to start picking them out. So I'm just going to start here on the wings. We just want to make these nice and bright. Just like this. Going over the top of all of our white feathers. That sort of thing. Similarly, on the helmet, 
you just want to pick out pretty much the entire of the helmet. I was just avoiding anywhere where our soul blight grey has really settled. So with that done, our white now looks fantastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to highlighting all of the blue. Now the colour we're going to be using for this is blue horror. It's very, 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 very bright. And we just want to be careful here that we don't overload the highlight too much. So just use small amounts of this on your brush at a time. Just be very, very careful here. So you, it's a stark highlight and that's what we want, but we don't want it to be too thick a highlight as it were. So you just want to be very careful as we do this. Just like this. So with that done, our blue armor is looking fantastic. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some thin down Dawnstone. I'm gonna use this to highlight our black details. And once again, we're just gonna use this to now just pick out all of the edges with the Dawnstone. Just like this. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Warpstone Glow. We're gonna use this to highlight our green details. And so with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna finish them off by highlighting all of our gems. Now the color we're gonna be using for this is Fire Dragon Bright. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna highlight the bottom corners of each of our gems. By just drawing a little line. Like that. around the underside edges, just like this. And so as an actual proper final flourish, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thin down white scar. I'm gonna be using this in a couple of different ways. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a tiny little dot of white scar in the top corner opposite our orange highlight. So for example, just there, like that on our gems. We're also gonna use this to highlight the inside edge of the mask. Like this, to create some clear distinction between the shadowy area little spot highlight the white areas of the feather we don't want to overload them with highlights you see because they're so bright And so with their bases complete in the same style as the rest of the Aspect Warriors so far, the Swooping Hawks are now finished. 
and I think they look really, really good. This has always been one of those schemes that I think is a little bit tough to achieve with classic paints because they're just so bright. And Frostheart is just a fantastic paint. I hadn't had a lot of chance to use it, but I knew I was definitely going to use it for the Swooping Hawks. Absolutely fantastic paint. And I think they've come out really, really well. You could do this over White Scar, but I think they might be a touch too bright there. So Grace here is perfect. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, exactly like these awesome folks have done. And if you just want to shoot me a little thanks just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.